can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about the only reason I entertain this on social media. I thought that was about the DJ Twitch uh, post that I put up, and I thought it was about my daughter's death. I thought she was grieving. Mental illness is is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know that it brings people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I can go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just said, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world not to get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain and you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences. And then when they grow older, they, oh, you never gave me nothing. At 30 something, man, people could go back and look, you've been shining for a long time, son. All you gotta do is pick up the phone and call me or come to the house and holler at me. The saddest thing about that, this is what the people wanna see. They wanna see destruction. So if you destroy me, what are you gonna do for the rest of the family? Are you gonna take care? You told me on the post that you put up, oh, you go take care of people in the community. That's what you're supposed to do when you come from that. You go help people. I'm just not helping ungrateful people. I'm not an ATM machine. People can't just say they love me when I give them something. I'm tired of that, y'all. And any other parents, you could be rich or poor at a smaller level. You might give your kid $10, but if that's all you got, I've always fell off, got back up, hustled, did my thing. I'm tired of all these blog sites and all this stuff, poking and having fun. Y'all can, but I'm about to go back to work and do what I got to do. I love my family. My door is always open for my son. To be honest, because we shouldn't have to go through this. And if I'm wrong, forgive me. I'm apologizing to you if I'm wrong. I'm still a work in progress. I come from nothing. Everybody go through trauma. I'm dealing with this right now, but I love going out into the community and helping people. That's the way I heal. Allow me to heal. I don't have to be sitting around moaning and crying and all. I, I can't get my daughter back. But I can get out there and keep a legacy going, keep a name going. So let's do this in love and let's do this in peace. Because this is what the system wants. Think about it. We're stronger together. But you older now. So you got to lead by example for the rest of the kids. And we're going to get through this. I'm just telling y'all, keep keep y'all prayers. We need it. And, and, and God going to do what he got to do. You know, I'm not going to come on here no more. So bloggers and everything else is cool. Whatever you want to deal with, deal with Romeo. Whatever y'all think he's saying is true or whatever. That's cool too. I can live with it. I'm at peace now. I had to speak my peace. Romeo sound like, man, an entitled kid, man. He just feel entitled, man. You know what I'm saying? When you look at everything that went on, man, when you look at the daughter the daughter passed away, Master P, I already been dealing and grieving with it. This guy passed away, and Master P put encouraging words on the internet because Master P, man, is pretty much a mogul in the game. He mean a lot to the black community, man. He mean a lot to the people from the South that was around during them 90s and early 2000s, man. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand that Master P have a strong base of people that really would rely on him giving them some game or him encouraging them, man. And for his son, Romeo, to get out here on the internet and expose different things about certain struggles they had in their lifetime, certain financial situations that went on, and then stuff about see murder and all this, man, that could have been left out. You know what I'm saying? We understand people grieve with situations in the way they grieve with them. We understand that you might feel a way about your father, but you got to always remember, man, your home and the way you grew up, man, you probably in the 1%. So you got to understand and look back to the blessings you had in your life. There are other people that had the luxury that they could turn them light switches on. Other people that had the luxury to live and to be all over the TV and magazines and live how you live. So you got to look at what your father come from, his state of mind, where he came from, man. Master P been hustling, man. Master P been a hustler the whole time. And Master P hustle have motivated so many people that really don't even acknowledge the fact that P hustle did that for them. You know what I'm saying? You got to, man, pay attention to the grind. You've been around the information. And as a father, P probably feel like, man, you missed the mark. 
If he's sitting there with all the information and all the knowledge, you should at least be hollering at him. He's saying it, bro. You should be talking to him to get it and soak up the game. If you don't know it, you still got a chance to get it, man. You still got a chance to get that understanding instead of side with something because you and your mom and him got a divorce and she's saying certain things. Maybe you saw certain things. Maybe certain things shaped your opinion. But, man, you got to realize you only get one father, one mother, man. And somewhere along the way, you have to find that common ground, man, to keep the family going. Like Master P said, if you remove me and have everybody against me, then what you going to do for the family? Because Master P, it's in his heart, man, to do it. Master P said you supposed to do that when you giving back to the community after you get money. Well, Romeo speaking on Master P doing for the community but won't do for his family. P said that's what you're supposed to do. Because if you my family, you already living in that luxury that I put there. I did that for y'all. So now I'm back out here doing what's been put in my heart to do, man. So Romeo, man, you know what I'm saying? I understand your place of grieving. I understand 100% Romeo grieving over his sister and him feeling some type of way about probably not getting the attention that he want to. But I also feel like Romeo should man up in this situation as far as getting his money and worrying about some money because what are you doing now? It ain't You can't do nothing with some money you would have got 20 years ago because guess what? You would have ran through it anyway. But what are you doing now, man? We have to hold ourselves accountable, man. We can't be looking at all. I remember when I got all this big money. Make it happen now. You know what I'm saying? But I just hope Master P, I hope little Romeo, man, they can find some common ground, man, and we can see their father and son bond that we always saw there, even if it was for the camera. We want to see it for real because that was the idea we had of Master P and little Romeo, man. So people just understand one thing. Charity starts at home.